Welcome back to the 7 on 8. We know that weather is a tricky science. Thankfully, though, we have our own Miss Frizzle to help us out. We have another Ask Ellen question tonight. It comes from Rachel, including some photos from Saugatuck State Park. She wants to know why part of the lakeshore looks purple. This is so cool. Interesting, yeah. Those and are great photos. One th exactly. One of yeah. the things that I love about Rachel, she didn't just snap one picture. She took several so we could see. Yeah, the sand really does look purple here. So <laughs> the big question is, of course, why? Yeah. And it all has to do with erosion. So I wish we had a more okay. positive answer, but unfortunately it means that Makes erosion, sense. yeah, has been taking place. So when the Great Lakes were formed by the glaciers, it cut across uh, a lot of sandstone. And sandstone, typically in the Great Lakes, has layers of garnet. If you've seen garnet, you know it's that dark purple color. So as those areas and layers of garnet get eroded away by the waves and pushed on shore, it mixes with the light sand that you see there, and occasionally it will look pink or purple. And this actually happens all over the Great Lakes, but it usually pops up in little spans depending on erosion. But this is from back in 2017. Pictured Rocks National uh, Lakeshore had lots of reports of pink and purple sand. And they said, yep, it's all about the garnet being eroded away from a nearby cliff and then being pushed on shore. So again, this isn't something that's going to stick around for a long period of time because erosion is always changing. Mm -hmm. But it's so neat that you see it and it is possible, right? Right yeah. here in Lake Michigan and in West Michigan. It'll be interesting to see too if people send in other photos from other yeah. spots along our area to see. Yes, and include the location when yeah. you do so. Yeah. It's really helpful for yeah. us. All right, Ellen, thank you. Yeah. If you want to submit a question for the Ask Ellen segment, just email it to the 7on8 at woodtv.com. You can also post it to social media and tag us.